Hey you guys, this is Skullshade, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download Fantasy Star Online 2, uh, the Japanese version. It's out in Japan, it's not quite out yet uh, in North America, so uh, if you really wanted to play this game, you'd have to do it through these means. So first off, I'd, I just want to say that uh, you'll have a much easier time uh, when you're trying to download this game uh, if, if you download Google Chrome and just use it. And if you want to, you can just download it, use it this just this once cuz it's it makes it really easy to translate. Or you can try to translate everything like as accurately as you can by, you know, like highlighting the text and then trying to download that way by whatever means that you want. So first off, you click downloader here on the main website which I'll put in the link below. So you guys can just click on it and it'd be really easy for you to get there. You click on the downloader, you download the game, okay? You're not done. You got to sign up, right? So we're going to go ahead and go to Sega ID up here, uh, top left of the page, it says it. We're going to click on that. It's going to bring us to, oh no, it's all in Japanese. So you go ahead and you hit translate, boom. So what you need to do here is enter a mail address, like a, an email address. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my one. just like that. My typing skills are not the greatest, so you put your email address here, you click this link right beside it, and then uh, you want to translate it. So basically what it's asking is to go to your email address, which I have here, and uh, just go to my inbox real quick. So it says there's two of them. So anyways, you're going to get over here, and then you're going to want to click on this link, the first URL link that you do as it is for any kind of other registration process, really. So, okay, you're on this page. What you want to go ahead and do is hit Translate, and then it's just going to make everything easier for you. So, date of birth, you enter your date of birth. Let's say anything you do. Because the year, the year here coincide, goes into here, month, and then uh, the day. I don't know why it says sun. Uh, anyways, so you go ahead and put your Sega ID of your choice. Uh, you put your password, you put your password again, uh, you pick out your secret question and whatnot. Uh, if you want, you can click this off to receive announcements. And you can go ahead and do this. Um, now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a little program that you can use uh, to get these. Because how would I be able to do this? I can't type in Japanese, right? So give me one second. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go to this place called LexiLogos.com and I'll post a link uh, below so that you guys can go ahead and access that easily and uh, it gives you all the characters that you need to uh, to be able to uh, to complete that little section so that you can go ahead and register uh, that was the hardest part for me because I, I didn't know what I was doing you can go ahead and go copy uh, let's say copy uh, actually I have to find these <laughs> I can't just do that so I have to find these so if you wanted to do that, all you have to do, you could take this and then put it on the side, oh, like that in the window, and you can minimize that window. Yeah, you could take this window, put it there, put that window, put it there. Oh goodness. Uh, okay, and then we can go to the Sega ID, so I can see them uh, accurately. Now it's pretty tricky, <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and do this, and then uh, and then register, uh, and then I'll be back. I'll just cut this part out. Okay, so the next page should look like this. You can go ahead and hit translate. So, yeah, okay, it's just to confirm everything. And then right here, you can go ahead and click register. Boom. So, you can go ahead and translate that too. It says SIG ID, the work has been completed. Uh, now, you have to go ahead and go to register service. And then you have to go down, you translate again, you have to go down to where it says Fantasy Star Online 2. Wow, go down, it's just like right there. So you go ahead and go registration service, you go to register, just like that. You wait a second and bam! So you can go ahead and translate terms and, terms and conditions, you agree with the service, register and agree to the terms. Oh damn, you're so close. You are so close to playing this game. You go ahead and translate. Okay, 
So everything is good to go. You can just go ahead and log out. Just like that. Boom. Takes you back to the website. Now, you just go ahead and... <clears throat> now, uh, everything's cool now. If you guys have any problems with the Lexi logos that I had up, uh, just make sure that whenever you're doing that, uh, you don't use the little copy button that they, they're offering you. You go ahead and copy and paste it. Uh, and make sure that the symbols match up whenever you paste it, because sometimes it's a little buggy. It'll come out and it won't be uh, it, it won't be right, and then you'll try and you're like, oh, what am I doing wrong? But um, if it's not working for you every time you you try to cut and paste it, uh, go ahead and cut and paste it somewhere else. Like uh, open up a, an, another window and you could paste it in that window and then copy it from there. Uh, maybe it's just uh, a measure that they've taken to to prevent people from using Lexi logos or any other kind of program like that that you can just cut paste it in there. But anyways, if you do that, uh, inevitably you'll get the, you'll get to the point where you're you're uh, you have your Sega ID, you're ready to go. Um, psh, 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 psh. Now for the patch, <clears throat> now all you got to do for the patch is go to this website here, which I'm going to include at the bottom um, in, in the description. So you go ahead and uh, you have to, it tells you the most recent version. See this one's December 11th. Uh, the main patch. So you have to download these two files, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so we download this file and this file. Post these files right here. Shouldn't take very long. This one's uh 67.3. Now this this will make your game like English all of it. It uh, mainly makes the menus English, makes things easier for you to see to to figure out. Um, but if you're planning on but if you're planning to play the game on um, in English, just be advised that uh, if if you're doing like live streams in English on Twitch or something like that, and you have the English patch on, they 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 could ban you. It's like a bannable offense according to them. So uh, I think that's all you need to know about the English patch. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it, uh, so you guys will be able to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have the files. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and extract them. So I'm gonna uh, extract this one, this one, beep, and this one, beep. So we're gonna do that. Ooh, what am I doing? Okay, you're gonna minimize this. So these are there. You go on your Fantasy Star Online 2. You go to Open File Location. I do believe you go to Data. You go to Win32. And then these are all the files that you need to, uh, that you're gonna need. It's gonna replace some of them, probably not all of them. Uh, but what you go ahead and do, you go ahead and take this. You highlight these. Uh, you can include the README in there if you really want to. There's no big deal in putting that in there. It's not gonna read it anyways. So you go ahead and do this. Now you're gonna go ahead and move and replace. Do this for the next 23 conflicts. Move and replace. Continue for that one. This one's done. Next one, this one. I'm gonna do the same thing for this, like that. Move and replace. Do this for the next 24 conflicts. Boom. Go ahead and continue. And there you go. So is that's as easy as it's gonna get. <laughs> so um, okay, I guess that's it. So if you guys um, if you guys have any comments or uh, any other issues, um, feel free to uh, post a comment or whatnot. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out uh, getting started on this game. Uh, the game's uh, supposed to come out in North America. I think it's in a couple of months. Uh, it's coming out on the Vita, the PS Vita, and uh, you're gonna have like some kind of, kind of uh, cross-platform. So people on PC are gonna be able to play with people who have the PS Vita. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching the video. I wow, I should speak slower. Thank you for watching Skullshade. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Peace.